the public transport sector in Kenya has never been without controversy. Whereas the Matatu industry remains one of the biggest drivers of the economy, it has over time attracted both positive and negative attention in equal measure. But the latest plan by the government to rid the city of the popular 14-seater Matatu is threatening to drive a wedge between investors and the government in what is now turning out to be another war front in the tussle for the control of public transport in Nairobi and other major towns across the country. We are not denying to face them out, but there must be a proper way. If it's compensating them, let us agree. How much are you compensating a 14-seater? The Association of Matatu Operators is opposed to this development because of what is terming as a move, whose timing is wrong and ill-advised. At a press conference in Nairobi, the association called upon the government to consider the dangers of facing out a 14-seater Matatu, warning that besides condemning many youth into joblessness, it would ground the economy. The operators claim that about 14,000 14 seater matatus are spread across major towns including Nairobi, Kisumu, Mombasa and Nairobi cities. And so facing them out will see an estimated 200,000 youth left without employment. Our country is in crisis, the youth are jobless and we are, we are even making them more jobless when we face out 14 seaters matatus. But as the association decry the impending loss of jobs and investment, it is now emerging that the move to push Matatus out of the city is not necessarily about decongesting the city, but a clever move by senior government officers and some dishonest people in the industry keen on making huge profit at the expense of genuine Matatu owners. Wale watu ambao serikali kuu na yaza county wamekuwa kiongea nao ni wale watu ambao kwa lugha ya kimombo tunawaita makatels ama ma, matapeli ambao wamekuwa wakiongoza hii in, hii industry yetu ya matatu kwa muda wa uh, miaka 20 sasa there is a company going by the name Regional Metropolitan Transport Limited which was allegedly formed by some individuals under supervision and directives from senior government officers which according to Matatu owners the company was formed with the primary view of helping some individuals get a pie of the 5 billion shillings the African Union is injecting in the project by the government to bring in special buses ni serikali nataka kunufaisha watu kidogo na tunajua pia yale mabasi bei yake imeongezwa maradufu mara tatu kwa hivyo kuna wale watu wanahitaji wa, wanatarajia kunufaika kunufaika na ununuzi wa yale mabasi ndio maana unaona yanaharakishwa yanunuliwa haraka iwezekanavyo ndio mtu aweze kupata kima chake as the National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, stops issuing new road service licenses to the 14-seater Matatu, the operators are not taking any matter lightly. Let me assure you guys, we are seeing you from far. You are testing our faith as stakeholders. But trust me, you NTSA, we are giving you 72 hours ultimum time. It's either you renew our licenses, which are more than 210 as per Friday, and I know the number will increase by next week. You renew our license and we'll be in good books with you. In the new plan, the 14-seater Matatus will not be allowed to get any closer within a 50-kilometer radius of the given metropolitan city. Shadrach Miti, KT News.